I'm David Kendall, uh, Culinary Professor at Algonquin College. We're here in beautiful Costa Rica, uh, touring around the countryside, um, looking at the coffee plantations, visiting the local people, staying with some wonderful families. Um, we're here under trying to understand uh, the coffee production and the concerns and the challenges and uh, what it takes to get the coffee to us. Uh, the village behind me is Santa Maria de Dota. Uh, yesterday we spent some time, we toured a, a local roasting facility, cooperative roaster in the village. And we spend a lot of time with Arturo, who owns a, a farm and property up on that hill behind us. Today we're proving various things that are important in society. That it can be done, that it can be market, that we can produce well, that slowly others slowly are moving to be sustainable at least because they are noticing that the way they are doing it is all right and they are learning from organic farmers how to get there. So that's why we are here. Not even 1% of all the goods in Costa Rica are organic. Not even 2% of everything that Costa Rica produces is or, or, or sustainable or organic. So we have a challenge because we can no longer continue practicing conventional farming unless we redefine what we are doing. Arturo's um, passion and what he's behind is trying to um, impact the environment in a positive way, uh, no pesticides, being a, a true organic farmer uh, and trying to work with the local producers to try and get them to understand that uh, planting some companion crops right here in this, these trees right beside me, some banana trees that are planted in amongst the coffee uh, plants to try and, and give some shade. Um, but that's only part of the solution. Um, herbicide uses to kill all the ground cover is very common and we, you know, he's working to try and get that discontinued um, because without that ground matter the um, uh, erosion easily um, pulls away all the, the vital nutrients on the top layer of that soil. So a lot of work trying to get done by a very small group of people, um, but, but they're, get, they're making headway. But truly the message is that unless we demand it or we ask for it on our side, and back in Canada on the coffee side, um, those changes won't necessarily happen, it won't happen very quickly. Um, the people here are like anybody else, they're, con they're, they're comfortable doing what they've been doing and uh, they've been doing it for many years, so to get them to change is somewhat of a challenge. Um, but from our side, from the consumer side, our biggest impact is, is demanding that and asking for that and those changes will happen. Um, so the coffee is their primary crop. Without the coffee, this village currently wouldn't exist because that's what, what they're producing. Uh, that's where the energy goes into. Um, so um, good future, but it, it's going to take a lot of um, energy to get some changes made and, and to keep the environment um, um, unaffected by, by the growth because the demand for coffee is only growing. They're clearing more areas to, to plant more um, plantations. On some of these hills in the background, <coughs> excuse me, you can see the, the, how steep the hillsides are and they actually have to you know, use ropes to repel up and down to, um, to, to be able to pick the cherries because it's so steep. So they're going to extremes trying to expand. Um, they've got some uh, natural issues with some um, uh, fungus that, that is growing at lower elevations. So to, to get away from that, they're going higher, higher up in the areas um, where the fungus doesn't grow. So they're, they're moving up out of the valleys, higher up the hillsides uh, to, um, to still be able to produce coffee. So more areas being cleaned, more use of herbicides. So a lot of things going on, but uh, th there's movement here and it just needs a bit more energy to get it, uh, to get it changed. So everything you can do uh, to, to make that change, uh, you can actually make a difference by asking uh, for shade grown in organic coffee and asking them to prove that it is, not just saying it is because it's not always what you hear is, is the truth. Thank you very much. I'm signing off from Santa Maria Dota.